Jack Charlton, uh, the reason I say this is because I remember you were very distinctive looking because of your hair. Mm, yeah. And Jack Charlton had thoughts about your hair, is that right? You, you kind of, if we got to just remind ourselves of, of Graham in, in, in oh, the heyday. Right, right. uh, where am I looking? Where am I? No, you're oh, this, wow. <laughs> complete with hair comb, dryer comb thing. Yeah, uh, hair dryer. Yeah. Thank you. Tell me a little bit about Jack and, and, and that. Well, there was an instant, you know, obviously in those days we, we would share a bath, communal bath, and there's um, maybe ten players in there and Jack's in there and I've got the shampoo and the conditioner and he's looking at me and he's watching me this and he said uh, why are you bowling with all that stuff he said you know, I've never used shampoo in my life and he's got this carbolic soap and he's rubbing <laughs> it in. and I'm looking at him and all my teammates are looking at him and none of us had the courage to say but Jack you've got about three strands of hair on the top of your head so he, um, you know, he was, he was not a man you would sort of Ness. take on in an argument. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can, did Kenny Daglish have a, a similar problem initially when you were rooming together? Yeah, th that's gone back a long, long yeah, time. Yeah. We, we um, were together. My very first Scotland get-together were in Germany. Yes. And I'd heard, you know, about Kenny being a really good professional, didn't drink, didn't take any drink at all, which is, he's changed big time. <laughs> um, so we were in Germany and we were rooming together. Yes. And I go to bed, I get into the room and I'm watching bloody German television and not understanding anything. And eventually I think, well, I'm going to turn left. It's now 11 o'clock or half past 11. And I'm thinking, where is he? I'm told he's a really good professional. And then I go to sleep and I wake up in the morning, he's in the bed next to me. So it was only years later, I was at Middlesbrough at the time. It's only years later when we sort of we room together again, yeah. well, it's, uh, maybe a dozen years of rooming together eventually. Um, I said, remember that first time we roomed together in Germany? I said, where did you go? He said, well, it's that heard you were gay. Oh. And I thought I'd wait for you to be asleep before I came back to the room. <laughs> so, and again, it comes back to hair dryer, aftershave, <laughs> conditioner. Let me talk